A major air attack yesterday, along with a lot of hard work on the ground, paid off. Unless something really flares up, smaller aircraft and helicopters will handle the water or retardant drops. There is still plenty of fire to fight. Unpredictable winds and rising temperatures remain major concerns. We found fire crews watching over the area from this hill that looks down on the land below. They're looking for any smoke or flare-ups. Just to give you perspective on that, the locals are saying it's the worst fire behavior they've ever seen. So uh, we feel like we're uh, in the last day we've been able to get a little bit uh, out in front of the fire and start working on some control. A wheat field between Moro and Grass Valley gives a closer look at what's been charred. Lots of wheat, farmers' livelihoods lost. It's a happier feeling at this home in Grass Valley, where Chelsea Wilson and her mom are more than glad to be home again. Absolutely relieved. I mean, it's still a little iffy but because the winds can pick up, but I feel great about level two. It's relieving. Weight off our shoulders. And that was Tim Gordon reporting for us. We want to bring in Brian Brennan right now. He's live in the Weather Center with more on that fire forecast. We heard about the wind and the heat. Brenda, yes, we still have winds blowing at 20 miles per hour sustained through the Dow, so it's still a breezy day there today. Today, or in the last 24 hours, we've had gusts up to 38 miles per hour near the airport, airport 25 miles per hour near the town of the Dow's, and just a little bit further south, 20 mile per hour winds. So these winds are still blowing in that area around the fire. Today, I think we'll have gusts up to 30 miles per hour, and even tomorrow for firefighters, winds are going to be an issue gusting into the 20. To Sunday will be the calmest day. So that'll be the day when we finally think that we've had some kind of a break to our south. We still have air quality warnings concerning fires to our south. And of course, it's going to be hot in the Dallas tomorrow, 89 degrees, and the temperature west of the Cascades is going to go up as well. We'll be near normal tomorrow. By Sunday, another heat wave begins. We'll talk more about that in the full forecast. Brenda. Thank you very much, Brian. The community is really standing behind those firefighters. For instance, a company in the Dells donated coolers full of cold drinks, and one woman even made stacks for those fire crews. For all the firefighters, if they're going to be out here saving everything, they deserve saving something. All of our properties, all of our lives. Yeah, they they Appreciate deserve it. something. So of course, why not? Residents wanting to drop off care packages for firefighters can go to the Salvation Army of the Dalles and the Incident Command Center in Moro. We have all the information at KGW.com. And of course, we'll bring you more updates on this wildfire as they come in. You can also go to our website and our social media platforms for the very latest all day long.